Come back in the shop. This week I will make some window for a customer, the same contract that I have for the summer. So I will bring you with me. But I decided that I will spare you some time because the first step are pretty similar than the last week. All the pieces are ready to put together. Doing one window is pretty long, but doing eight window is longer than doing one, but it's a lot quicker to do all the window at the same time. For doing that, I use my sheet here. I, this is the eight window that I need to do with the final dimension. And after that, each window is split in three category, the base, the top, and the side of the windows frame. So I can put two inch more then this dimension here for work, working the wood on the machine. So if there is a split or something, it's not too bad. And after that, this is where I cut all the piece at the final dimension. So they are ready to put together. So now I need to do eight times the step that I did last week for the door frame. Yeah. A lot of wood chisel and uh, patience. So let's do it. Wow, it's finally done. I'm so tired. Take time to do all that. And by the way, I'm curious to know how many time do you think it take me to go from that rough wood to that one. Tell me right now in the comment how many times do you think it take me and I will give you the answer later on. And right now I think I will go take a good nap because I'm kind of sick to be in the shop.
that's one of the more stressful moment because it's now if I know that the, if I made a mistake or not. But everything go really good. Hello, it's a new morning. I just started the fire. It felt good. Today is a big day because it's time to sand all this. I need to take all these windows apart and sand it very nice. Yeah, sanding is like the most time consuming part of the project because it's very easy to scrap a piece of wood but i need to sand it enough and to be straight and all this stuff so it take a lot of care and time to do it but i'm really happy because now i know that all the the windows are together and there's no mistake so that means that we are close to the end wow one of done and seven to go. <laughs> Not done, but look at the result. I love bending windows because it's like a puzzle against the weather. So here are my goals. This frame will hold the glass and this is the inside part and this is the outside. So here it's gonna have a mosquito net that will probably stop the rain at maybe 50 or 70 percent. And after that, the 30 percent of rain left will hit the glass and slide down. I will make some trim that I will put. This is just an example, but the trim will go after the stain because if I just put the trim right now and stain everywhere, they will not have a stain underneath the trim and it's there that can have some rotten problem in the long term. And the little trim will go like this. So the water will not go up there and after inside. I hope it's clear. It's a pretty simple way to build windows, but it works very well. And I forget to say that the mosquito net here, it's not glued or nothing. So the water can still go through the frame here. This is a mosquito net frame. Okay, we'll go like that. And inside all over there, there's no glue or nothing. So the water can always go through this little crack and slide down outside. Here, a side view of the base of the window so in this side there will be the inside of the windows with the weather strip so the glass will be here so th this is the outside if some rain cross the mosquito net and uh, touch the windows it will slide down and here there will be a small piece of wood that make that the the, the water will drip there and slide down i don't know if you see like there's a little slope the water will slide down and go through the uh, mosquito net frame here and all the way down. Whoop. And this little crack here is to make sure that the water didn't just follow the piece of wood 
back into the wall and ruin everything. So that is the way that I build windows. And if you live in a pretty cold climate, what you can do is to make two frame in the outside. So in the summer, you can put the mosquito one and in the winter, you put a simple glass one. So there's no snow coming in between the glass and the mosquito net. But here, I mean, it's pretty cold, but there's almost never snow that come between the mosquito net and the glass. So it worked pretty good. And it will have another weather strip there with another type of trim here to make sure that there's no water coming in. But anyway, you will see that later. Good morning, it's a new day. I didn't film much last week because it's always, it's almost only sending, so I sent three days in a row, so I don't, I spare you that uh, misery part. <laughs> and I start staining, but before that, something happened last week. You see that? How oh, the ice is melt on the river and it changed so much the ambience right here. Each year when the ice is leaving the, the river, it's always a little bit scary because sometimes it can jam somewhere and the level of the water can rise quite fast and a lot. Sometimes we have small flood here, but not, nothing too major, but it's always scary and funny to watch at the same thing. It's a we weird feeling. Ah, y'a un arbre! <laughs> y'a un arbre là! But ah, uh, the sound of the river feels so good after a long winter of calm and silence. Okay, back to the shop. Like you may know, I already started the stain. Wow, it looks good. Look at this. They look good. There's a lot of window here there but this part make no noise so i can listen to podcasts or music while staining so it's help a lot
so this window is gonna be green outside and uh, brown inside so it's why i just do this part i will make two coats of brown white to, to dry and after that i will do the green on the other side Hello, I'm back! It's been maybe one week since I last filmed something because it was my birthday this week and we decided to take some day off so <laughs> we just basically did nothing we sat at the campfire and watched the snow melt Look at this, there's almost no more snow. There's some left, yeah, it's true, but it's always better than uh, two weeks ago. <laughs> so back, oh. so an update about the windows. They are finished. All the windows are stained and ready to go. I mean, ready to go, it's a big war because there's no glass, there's no mosquito net, there's no weather strip, there's no mechanism to close them. But now I'm at the step that I can stop the fabrication and take all the measurement of everything and order the glass and everything. So I'm very sure that there's no mistake because in the past, sometimes I order the glass too quick and there's a mistake and once you order the glass, you cannot change the dimension. So it's kind of pain in the ass to deal with that problem. So now I take my time. It turned out really good. I'm really happy about that. So right here is gonna have the glass in this space. It's why there's no stain. And on top of the glass, I will put a trim to hide everything. And I have a question for you. Do you think I should use like this kind of trim that make kind of a finish that I found nice, but in the past I have the comment that not everybody loved this kind of trim. So uh, maybe I should just put a flat trim like this. It's gonna be the same size, but flat. What do you think? Should I put that or that? Let me know. Let's close the subject of the windows. For now, I will finish them later on in the summer, but you will see all of that anyway. So yeah, what do you think about that? Do you love the, the design, the simple design? And do you love the color? Yeah, tell me what, what do you think?
By the way, the answer it's 12 hours, so good job for them that they guessed right. And see you next week. Bye.